Here's some experimentation with the Q117 sample and hold module. We're going to install that here where one of the blank panels are on the bot box. The very first thing when you want to add a module is to make sure the power is turned off. And you can tell that by these three LEDs. So make sure those three LEDs are off. That means your power is off. Okay, the module's installed. Now let's turn some power on. And we get our three LEDs, so everything's working. Okay, the sample and hold module, the Q117, what it does is it takes an input, usually a control voltage, and it captures that voltage and memorizes it and keeps that voltage at the output until the next capture happens. And these captures or these gates or samples can uh, occur either from the sample rate from the internal clock or from an external gate. So I'm going to set up a patch here. Uh, we're going to use the MIDI interface going to an oscillator, filter, and amplifier, just to, like any normal synth patch. And then we're going to use the sample and hold module to create some interesting modulation. So that's our MIDI input, and we're going to take our gate output and go over here to our envelope generator, which is going to control our amplifier. Okay, we're going to use this one oscillator here uh, for this patch. So this output is going to go into our filter, and then our filter will go into our amplifier. And here's our external sound system. Okay, so we need a pitch also to our oscillator. So there's a standard synth patch. Now let's do some interesting things with the sample and hold. Uh, the first thing we can do is we can take this other unused oscillator and we'll create, um, we'll use a, an output waveform from it and we'll go through the sample and hold unit and we'll capture that at intervals and create little stair steps. So here's our output and we're going to go into the sample and hold and here's the output of the sample and hold. Now what we're going to do with this at first is we're going to um, let's just modulate the filter over here. And let's pick a waveform. Let's pick a, a sine wave. So what's happening here is we have this one uh, low frequency oscillator that has a waveform coming out that's going to go through the sample and hold. And then the sample and hold is going to capture that waveform at the rate set by this internal oscillator. So it's going to capture it, and each of those captures is going to keep that voltage going to the output. So we're going to get little stair steps. And so this is the speed of the capture. Here's a fast speed. And here's slow. And this determines how much. Now we can change the output quite drastically by changing the ratio of the speed of the waveform going in relative to the speed of the capture. And of course the waveform going in makes a difference too. Now we can modulate other things besides the filter. Uh, we can go over here to the add input and actually modulate the pitch voltage that's going into our oscillator.
Okay, we can also modulate the amplitude of this oscillator. The Q167 LFO++ actually has a built-in amplifier, and we can patch that over here. Okay, now we can take other inputs uh, besides the input from an LFO. We can take the output from an envelope generator, for example, and create little uh, stair steps in the envelope generator. So to do that, we're going to take this uh, envelope generator output, and it's going to go to two places. It's going to go back to the amplifier, just like in our existing patch. but it's also going to go to the input of our sample and hold. And we can take the output of that, and now we have a stair-stepped envelope. Okay. Let's try pitch here. So let's modulate the filter with that. Okay, another feature of the Q117 sample and hold is it has an internal oscillator. And uh, you can use that internal oscillator for different things. Uh, it's normally set up in internal mode, so the internal uh, oscillator is doing the sampling. But when you put it onto the external mode, uh, it expects to get a gate from an external source. And that could be from an oscillator, for example, right here. Uh, and see, we can change the sample rate from an external oscillator. But another thing that happens is if you're not using the sample and hold, you can still use the internal oscillator um, just by doing something like this. So what we're doing here is we're taking the output of the internal oscillator. We're not even using the sample and hold part. We're just taking this output, which is square wave, and we're, uh, we're, we're just modulating the filter here, but we can modulate anything with it. oscillator.